How's everybody doing? Man, I tell you what, this has been a Monday for me. I don't. I hope your Monday has been better than mine. Hope everything's going good with you. Hope you had a great weekend. You notice I got my ears lowered. Uh, I was celebrating the anniversary. So, me and my wife Lisa have been married for a few years, and thought I'd get her a haircut. So. I, she could uh, remember who she was in love with instead of that scraggly uh, COVID guy. So anyway, I did that. Uh, <laughs> we did some crazy projects. We got to hang out at the lake a little bit. That was really nice. Got plenty of sunshine. It was cool. Had a good time. But um, today we're going we're gonna to go back into Smart and take a look at that. We're going to do uh, Smart versus Mullock. Um, it is Monday and man, I don't know. It just feels like a Monday. It's been raining and stuff and it's just, I don't know. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you feel me on that? So, uh, anyway, so we're going to do that. And then we've got, uh, got a couple of things in the 15 tile stretch. I, I have been working on that list. You know, all those, that shame list that we, yeah. Been working on it. I still got a bunch of games over here that I need to finish, but but we got some of them done anyway. So I give you a little, little bit of a review on that, and then we want to talk about what we're going to be doing uh, coming up. And I tell you this right now, man, this weekend is the day of Moloch. It comes on Saturday, and the day of Moloch on Saturday is going to be amazing. Um. Uh, we're going to make some announcements, some pretty, for me, these are awesome announcements. So some really awesome announcements. And then, uh, Nirishima announcements. And then, uh, we're going to do uh, me and Z Garcia from the Dice Tower. We're going to do our top 10 ways to kill Moloch. That's going to be fun. So we're going to do that. Got a couple of other things lined up. So yeah, it's going to be a good time on Saturday. So if you're not doing anything on Saturday, maybe it's raining where you are. You come hang out with us. Hey, Superboard. Yeah, this weekend will be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. All right. Well, let's get playing and see what, what Smart can do. Like I said, hey, Dutch. Like I said, man, I am. Whew. I'm just a Monday right now. I'm going to get through this and we're going to be okay. So let's let's get into the play. It's time to play. Well, look at there. We got it all set up. We're ready to go. Uh, we got to get rid of this one. And that's something we're going to talk about. So uh, there's a couple of different ones we could look at next time. I'm looking at Shirash or uh, Doomsday Machine. Doomsday Machine is pretty interesting in that you got all these reflectors and stuff. Very, it seems overpowered. Seems like you could really kick some butt, but man, it, it gets difficult. You got a lot of medics, though. I don't know. Anyway, we, we can talk about that a little bit. Let's get this one set up. See, we're going with the old smart right there. So we got smart set up. Got Mullick on our uh, 
on easy. Because if you're going to do it, do it easy. Kapow! All right. Mullock's gone first and he went off in the corner. Sounds good to me. I need a little bit of room, but I don't need that much room. Boy, I would really like to this line of sight for him would be okay. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to think of how to do this best. We got some movement. Uh, we got some movement. It might, let me try this. This will be an interesting experiment. We're going to get all the way on the opposite side. It's Monday, so I'm allowed to lose. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> so I'm going to do this and see what happens. <laughs> all right, draw your tile, Mullick. He's got the push, which isn't going to do him any good, but he's going to hold on to it anyway, which means he's only going to draw two more tiles, one of them which is a push. Now, now, now. Mmm. Man, the goss coming out immediately. That is awesome. Man, that is really nice. We'll just put that guy right there. Experimentation Monday. Um, well, now I could net his base. I could do something like I could put it right down the middle. We just keep on going right down the middle and do this number. Try to keep down what he's going to be shooting at us. I don't know. We'll just see. So this will limit because he gets the plus on his uh, on his shooting right there. So I've stopped that from happening. And he's not going to kill this net. And it's one less place he can put in the line of fire for my guys. So now he needs to put his things on either one of these sides, which still allows us to kill him. So we're going to do damage to him for sure. All right. He's got a push. He's getting in the way. Now he's got his three. Man, I hate that three. Now he's netted my net. He netted my net. That ain't good. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't like it. I got a three. I got this three. And as I remember, I don't have a lot of threes going on. I don't think I have many threes at all. Look, like, let's take a real, real quick, quick look at our units real quick here. All right, so uh, we have... Come on, where's the units? There they are. We got, uh, yeah, those are all twos and a net. We got two nets, which is nice. We got three of these transporters, two of which are out right now. And yeah, we got two threes. One of them's that bio droid that keeps on coming back. If he gets killed, he comes back to the top of your draw deck. Yeah. Hmm. Man, so that's what I got. I got a three, and I think I got some modules that might help us, right? We got two plus ones. Oh, so I might be able to kill him before he kills us, but then that's wasting one of my darn shots. Man. Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's go back to the darn... All right. Well, this blocker isn't really going to do me a lot of good. So one thing, I could turn this guy still. That's one of the things I wanted to put him out here so that way I'd have different range of fire. But I can't take that guy out. I can kill him, but he will have already killed these guys. I want to get rid of that net. Man, I can't do everything. All right, I got to get rid of one of these for sure. Let's take this three. This is Moloch, so we want to kind of spread things out.
If I put him here, he's only going to shoot this way and that way. And I can rotate him. He can shoot backwards on a three. I just don't have a good answer for it. So, boy, that just doesn't. Yeah, we're going to do that because I'm going to get those gauzes. And uh, but for right now, I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this big old blocker guy. I think I'm going to put the big, big blocker. I think I'll put them on. Put them on this side. Doesn't really matter which way I turn them. We're going to put something in his place, I think. Either that or we'll we'll use him as cover to make sure that I get a straight shot at him. Mm, he's going to do two damage. on a, So now he gets a plus to his damage. Boom, boom. Hey, we got an assassin. I could push him, but what I really need to do is assassinate him. Hey, we could net the nets or netter. I like all that. That makes me fun, right? Experimental. I think we're going to go that way. We're going to not push. We're going to just assassinate this guy right here. Boom, right? Like it. Bang, right? And then I'm going to put this guy here and I'm going to net the netter that's netting our net. Say that three times. How about that? The bomb. Yeah, yeah. Man. He just keeps on coming with stuff. Well, there's not a whole lot of choice here. We are going to definitely lay down rain of fire this way. So here's what we're going to do. And he's already used his bomb. He's already used his bomb. And I didn't do the bomb. Sorry. Monday. I forgot to do the bomb. I hate the bomb. Everybody hates the bomb. But man, maybe I'm being desensitized. We're playing Moloch all the time, and I'm I'm starting to get a little desensitized to it. So anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna definitely we're gonna put this guy here. And I love playing terror, and one of the reasons I love playing terror is he doesn't get to play anything except for maybe a battle or something like that. But he doesn't get to play anything, and we get to play yet another. Uh, what am I trying to say now? We get to play another turn. It's almost like you get a free turn. So we go, uh, here you go. Don't do much, Mullock. So he can't play that guy. Can't play that guy. And he can't play the three. So he's got a three as well. Ch -ch -ch. So now this plus to the range doesn't help this one because this is a gauze. So that doesn't help us. We don't have any ranges. We can push this guy, which does save our netter with the net thing because he will probably move him here. But you never know. He could be a dummy because he is. We are playing him on easy. Um... So, I don't know, we don't really need the plus. We're wanting to make the other things work. So let me do this and just see what the heck he does. Bam! All right, moot to straight back. That way he's going to get one shot on me. But he's not going to kill our netter. So we will continue to net him, which is nice. Now, if we were to play this right now, he'd do one damage to us. We'd do one damage to him. It doesn't help at all. So, bam, I don't need it. I want to draw three new tiles because I want to line up some offense. Here's his three. There's his three. And we got another terror. See, I miss the Iron Gang because, like, when he puts down those three, that Iron Gang, you line it up and 
take them out while you're you don't have to wait to the battle you can take out certain guys that is awful nice well we're not going to battle we're going to take this guy we are going to wear him out that is four damage on him and he can't attack us so that's really good and then we're going to tell him you can't place any guys that's the way to go right there now let's see what happens can't put it on the board can't put it on the board and he's got a two and more more ranged increased stuff but we don't have any increased range well i'll tell you one thing that we can do is we can definitely move adios muchacho there you go i hate doing it but i think i'm gonna get rid of that one too Oh, dadgummit. Darn, Mullick. All right, we got some threes there. We got our bioweapon three, which is nice. So he could take out him. He could take out him. Kind of a bummer. Oh, that's what I can do. All right. So, um, does it make sense to go that way or that way? It would make more sense to take. All right. We don't need the plus one. We put the plus one here. This would be a three and we would get that shot on him. Man, what we need is a turn command. So we, okay. All right. Never mind. I'm just, I'm playing it. Here we go. We're going to take this guy. Hold on. No, 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 no. No. Well, I can do it here. I take this guy and aim him that way. The other one was, if I end up that way. Yeah. This one has to go here. Oops. Come here. This one goes here. And this one. Go. This is my bio droid, and he he's pretty cool, but he ain't going to get killed. That's not going to kill him. That's not going to help. Hey, gummit. Forgot about that. He's got that shield right there, so he's going to block one armor. So we can put the bio droid here. And I could do a plus one. I guess that makes more sense. If I put a plus one on him, he would kill him before he killed us. And he'd do one damage to us. we do one damage to him. We're still doing better. Oh, and then we do all that damage. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So, good thing about this, we just take back. Take back. All right. We are going to get rid of this guy. Put this guy here. Sorry. Man, I am Mr. Indecisive today, I guess. I'll put this here. We'll put this one here. I think this will get us the best results. Plus one on Goss. Yeah, if I did plus one on Goss, he would go off at the same time as that one. But this time, he'll take him out uh, on a four. And so this guy won't ever go off. Our net will stay alive. The Goss will stay alive. I just, I don't know. I think it's better. How you doing, Janice? Or is it Janus? Oh, 
We got the Goss on a two, which would take out both of these guys. Nice. All right. So we don't need the battle because if we put both these guys down, a battle will occur. Um, if I put the Goss Cannon here, it'll take both of these out. This will take him out. This will take both of them out, which will make our net active again, which is something I need. Don't. Yeah, I need it because that keeps this guy alive. So I like being able to take both of them out. Yep, yep. All right. It is what it is. I'm going to do this. That'll keep my net alive, which will keep this guy here alive because he's going to do two damage each time. And I'm going to put this guy here, and he'll take out the this guy right there. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Here we go. Initiative four. Bang. Goodbye. Hmm. A lot of stuff going on on that too, man. That was a lot. All right. There you go. Woohoo. Two and a one. So that was the most important bit was keeping that guy alive because he's got the two and the one and he does two damage each time. So because I've got his uh, HQ netted, he didn't get to, to beat us up. Swap them and you'll get, oh, sorry, man. I didn't watch that Goss on bottom. Yeah, so I the reason I did the Goss, and I hope you understand it, the reason I did the Goss was because I wanted to keep this thing netted so this guy would survive, right? That's the whole thing. Because otherwise, my, my net would have been netted, which would have made his HQ active, which would have killed the guy who does four damage each battle. So, that was my logic. Double shot. No, because he would have got killed, I think. There was a guy here and his net there. My double shot would have, that was two power. It would just be two damage to the first guy. It wouldn't carry over to the next one. And then the net would have been active, which would have made it to where I can't, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not, it's, it's two shots. It's just like, it's just does two damage for one shot. It's not two separate shots. Whereas the Goss cannon is everybody in the line gets one damage. And now he's got a Goss cannon right there. I'm sitting pretty good right now can't get to that except for this one so what i'm going to do is i'm put that one there and i'm going to put the double right there so forget the push right so now this guy goes right here nice and then this guy now i can i can go all the way down on this guy no, I can't because this will take it out on a two. So I'd be better off going this direction. Which would give this guy a two and a one, and this is a two and a one. If I put that there, he'll take it out on a two, so he wouldn't ever get to the zero. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's a little confusing, but but basically the... When you have the two two different initiatives, that's when you could kill the first guy and then the second one goes to the second guy, right? Because it's a different initiative. But if they put a blocker, that blocker takes all the damage of the first initiative. Oh, getting leagues going. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. 
Gonna have a good time on Saturday. Everybody try to kill the mullock. Ugh! Got us on two. Got us on two. Okay. And not do this. Take this. Yep. And aim him here. I got to take him out so that this guy can attack. Again, just trying to keep him alive. This isn't going to happen, but these will happen. So that's cool. And I take this plus one and I put it here. Now, he will kill it on a two, but he gets to do three first. And this will kill him on a one, but I don't care. I'm keeping this guy alive. He does damage to the base. That's what's going on. Mullock's going to put one more guy here. He can do damage here, but he doesn't get any uh, benefit. No uh, buffs. There's nothing to... So let's hope he gets something crappy. Uh, it's not too crappy. All right. Here we go. Initiative three. Take him out. Yeah, and you know, that guy had a double shot, and he had toughness, so that's what took him out. So that was important. It was the right guy for the right space. Initiative one, he shoots me, he shoots him, he shoots him. This guy gets, that's the final time he gets that, because now his base gets to attack me. But I got him down to eight. Bam! Bam! We're turning this Monday around. Do you know what I mean? Turning this Monday around. <sighs> okay, got my bio back. Hmm. Um, I don't know if I want to do multiple damage. I want to do one of these two. Um, I want to do it twice instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. This will take out. This will do one damage to his base. It'll also take. Oh, it won't take his gauze out because it's. So I could put two on him. Or he could go off on a three and a two. The same difference. Well, not exactly. So he can still put somebody here. Uh, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't have to redo that. We'll just do it this way. That'll be fine. Gets rid of a battle. He's got to push. Daggum it. Uh, all right. It's no big deal. No big deal. We got another damage on him. So he's down to seven. That's two damage for us. And initiative zero. I take him out. He takes that out and that. There you go. There you go. Hey, we did okay. Experimental Monday. It worked all right. It worked okay. That's pretty quick too. You know, I, I, I really like this this smart. I do like the smart. Um, like I said before, you can get in some trouble with them, but especially against Moloch, you get to separate them up and whatnot. So I think that's a pretty good deal. But let me go to this. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've been tasked with the idea of trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to kill a mullet. So me and Z are trying to figure that out right now, making our list, checking them twice. It's kind of tough. I think one of the things that, like I said, is 
If you think about like Neo Jungle or something like that against Moloch, with Moloch's Balm, it's probably better to, to kind of uh, not use something like Neo Jungle. You know, you get to move, uh, separate them up and whatnot. And even somebody like Vegas, where you're you're needing to connect with somebody to control them, sometimes that can be bad because of the bomb. But that's only one tile, and you know, Mullet could draw the bomb early. <laughs> so um, I think that uh, I think that the other two that we've got on our list here, I'll show you, is. Um, Let's see here. Play custom. The other two we have on our list is Chirash. Let's see what it looks like on here. Boop, 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 boop. Which is the, I guess it's the screen share. Yeah, there you go. So on Sirash, You've got this, uh, what do they call that, castling move. And um, that's, I don't know. The only thing I don't like about the castling is once you castle, it's kind of like getting pushed. You don't get to change your facing. You just castle, and that's it. Now, you do have things like this guy here, which, uh, and you get three of them, which adds poison. But he's only got one attack, but he goes off on a three. So you can... You can poison pretty good, and you got three tiles, so that's that's pretty good. You know, you're kind of getting back into that um, kind of like Mississippi or something like that. Kind of feels like um, you got people like this, pretty good attack, but they're you know these opposite directions. Does it on one and a zero, kind kind of slow, but he moves and he's got you know. So I I like these guys. Three attacks there. You know, they're pretty good. This guy's pretty wild. You got the explosives. But at the beginning of the battle, whoever's here goes away. There's no does one damage. It's gone. And you get four of those. You get to set four explosives. That's pretty neat. Demolition. And then you got this underground stuff. So, um, which is kind of interesting. The thing we can talk about too. But it's a, it usually just... It just like lets you castle and that kind of thing. You got more poisons. But it's an interesting, interesting group. You know, you've got things like this guy. <clears throat> you only got one of them though. It, but it can turn two different people into poisoners. So, given the right circumstances, that could be good. Right? So, the other one that we have, where is it? The other one we have, right back. Back. Oh, the one we have is Doomsday Machine. So Doomsday Machine, right? Now this one's kind of hard to get a hold of. It was limited, kind of limited edition there. Um, but man, it's pretty neat. I like it. I do. It's again, it's one of those ones. It's kind of like Smart, where like. It seems like it's really awesome, but you kind of got to be cautious about it. You got to deal with things. So it's got some good attacks. Look, it happens on a three. And basically, Doomsday is just like a, it's a security system for an underground bunker. Some kind of thing down there. We don't know what's in there, but man, it'll kill anybody. Robots, humans, anybody that goes near this bunker, this thing takes them out. And that's what Doomsday Machine is. It's just to take out people. So, um, oh, Doomsday Machine got reprinted. That's awesome. Yeah, one of the cool things about it is, uh, yeah, the you're right, because the graphics are different. You're right, absolutely. So, um, basically, if friendly fire comes in one of these three directions, like one shot this way, will make three shots go that way. And what's crazy is you can line these up to where you can have one, and I'll show you that one. Here's what I like about it. Here it is, right here. You can put this one up against their headquarters and it nets their headquarters so the headquarters can't hit this. And then you line another one up 
to hit this one so that when it comes when the the damage comes or the fire comes in friendly fire comes in here it shoots the hq and so you can line a bunch of things up to this or you can line up things to the thing that's before this so you can you can get a chain uh going and stuff it's it is pretty cool so i don't know i'm kind of excited about doomsday i think maybe we should try doomsday i don't know how much i got in the way of graphics and stuff for it but i think we can probably break it down and do that oh yeah that's right somebody said something about the infinite damage that could be done by doomsday yeah, I'll see if I can't find something on that so we can talk about it. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But yeah, it's just an automated machine uh, there um, for a hidden base. So uh, pretty interesting. Um, so the one thing that yeah, I wanted to tell you about too is the, uh, where is it now? Is... I know it's not 15 minute stretch, but a 15 tile stretch, we already, we already blew Moloch away. But w what I was thinking about was, uh, so I got done with season one, played all three scenarios with that um, over a course of several days. I, my, my mom is quarantined, right? She's off uh, being old and, and taking care of herself, but we Zoom called her. And so, and she, she loves Sherlock Holmes and stuff like that. So we did the season one, really had a good time playing season one with her. That, that really worked out great. Uh, it's a good thing that you can do. I mean, really detective lends itself to those kind of things. So I think playing detective on zoom is a cool thing to do. Then, um, then, um, I got to play eight, seven, eight Viking, which is one of the games that was in my shame pile and, uh, got to play it. Played it uh, two different times, uh, one with my one with my wife, uh, who said she'll never play that again. I guess she felt like, you know, it was our anniversary, so she took one for the team. But uh, then we played this one, this Al Altier Al Atelier Al At Atelier At Satiety. Anyway, the. Uh, it's pretty. It's nice. I mean, I like it. It looks really neat. Uh, the player mats are these paint palettes, and you've got uh, nice little meeples that you move around, and all the pictures are, you know, really nice pictures, but <coughs> but it's kind of felt like there was a lot of luck there. I don't know. We didn't play it. We only played it once. And we just kind of felt like eh, there's a lot of randomness there. Now you can do some stuff to reduce the randomness, but which one comes out? And what's your superpower? And I don't know. Seem weird. Also, I say this: they had a thing where like <coughs> they had like hidden objectives at the beginning of it, and hidden objectives are fine. But like this hidden objectives would get you some. You get one that would get you like two points, and somebody else would get them. Get a hidden objective that gets you seven points. Now, if the right picture came out and you happen to have the right paint, you could maybe get this picture, which would allow you to get another hidden objective. I don't know. It's uh, anyway. Then we played this one, and I think this one may become one of our favorites. It's it's really puzzling, and it's like. Uh, it's weird kind of things to think about uh, trying to build towers of people. Very strange. Castell. But definitely, definitely something that I think is, is worth playing. I know the Murph Brothers and and like even Matthew Jude, I think, followed the Murph Brothers down the Castell um, uh, game thing. And man, I yeah, it looks psychedelic. But it is... It's a really good game, and it's just you're taking these little people and you're stacking them up, and there's different size people. Like the person at the top is called a one, and it looks like a little girl. <coughs> so the little girl couldn't hold anybody else up, right? Unless she did strength training. Now, if you had strength training, maybe you could get that little girl to hold another little girl above her. 
but she couldn't hold anybody else above her, right? So anyway, there's there's one of those kind of deals where you can you can get strength training, you can make it to where you can form wider bases, you can like there's all these different things. And you're thinking, okay, well that sounds fine. You're putting this little puzzly thing together with this bases and you're building like some kind of human pyramid stuff and you can rearrange it and whatnot. But the deal is is that there's logistics because you're picking up different people and getting different kind of training in different towns, but then you have to be at this town at this particular time because there's a festival. And at that festival, they want fives and sixes. And like, if you don't have a five and a six and you can't make a tower that's at least four people tall, they don't want you there at that town. And so there's all this logistics. In it. So it's not just the, the calculating the tower, it's also... The logistics of moving around and taking special actions and it was really satisfying it was definitely worth it so that's my recommendation right there man i am choked up need a little more nirishima <sighs> so uh, i think we're gonna do uh, i think we'll do doomsday machine all right so tomorrow uh nashville time 1 30 i'm gonna be doing doomsday machine and uh we'll kick butt with doomsday hopefully we'll kick butt with doomsday machine uh no guarantees but uh i i i feel pretty good about it so um anyway all right so don't forget saturday day of Moloch, lots of stuff going on check portal find out all right um, I think that's about all I got. Man, I sure do appreciate y'all coming by, hanging out with me on a Monday. I was blue all day till I got here. So thank you. <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs>